Well, hey there, everybody. I just want to give a big shout out to all the members that signed up, man. Really, it really touches my soul. Really, at the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all y'all, man. Thank y'all so much. And if you haven't signed up, go right ahead and hit that little join button and just join in the family. So, thank you so much once again. Y'all have a wonderful day or night and take care. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer of you. Yeah, why not? So today, <laughs> today I'll be taking a look at Toy World TW-FS06R. This is from the movie series Aerolite. This is Starscream. This is from the World War One, and you know the World War series they're doing everything. Looks good. I love the artwork on there. Looks beautiful. If you don't know by now, Starscream is my favorite character, so I definitely had to get this guy. You got the side right here. Looks good. And there as well. And up top, it just has his name. And on the back, has some codes and stuff. So that's cool. But yeah, looks really good. I like it. So uh, yeah, excited. As always, I love getting a new Starscream figure. It just, it makes my day. It just makes my day. So let's just get right to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah. All right, folks. There is Toy World's Aerial Light, also known as Starscream from the World War One series. And they do the World War Two as well. But this is from the World War One. First things first, we'll take a look what he comes with. Comes with this beautiful stand. It's nicely hard and nicely hard and giggity. Now, when it first came in, this piece right here was rattling around. I thought, oh, Lord. Something's broken it, but it was just this little piece right here. So what you do is you take this and you slide it in here and like that. And you can have it like this. Looks good. And I'll show you well, right now. So you just take these two slots right here, slide it in here. If I can slide it in there. And this is beautiful. Let me move all the space stuff out of the way. Look at how that displays. I mean, if you had like a nice desk or something like that in your office or something, man, just displaying like this, it's just beautiful. That old, just old Tommy Plane, Red Baron. My boy Extra Zero says I need a little Snoopy figure and put him in there. He could ride the Red Baron, but that is just freaking awesome. Look at that. That is beautiful. I love that stand and just the way it displays and everything. So there you go. That's the stand right there. All right, let's take a look what else it comes with. Man, I just scratched my <laughs> this thing right here. Uh, oh, well. Anyway, so he comes with this nice old-timey gun that you can hold. And you open it up, and I'll show you when he's in a uh, bot mode. And you just place his hand in there. You close over it. But, man, look at the sculpt work and the paint. Man, it's just got that weathered, dirty look like it's just been through hell and back. Tons of nice dry brushing on it. Looks really good. You got the bullets right there too. That is awesome. Wow. Look at all that detail work and everything. That's just freaking awesome. Looks good. Then you got these two little mini guns. And they will go on the alt mode. These are got some nice sculpt work in there. You get two of those. I'll show you where they go in a second. Now you do get a little gas mask for the uh, Starscream head. And that's pretty cool. I'll show you that in bot mode. Now you do get uh, two hands. I'll get to the head in a second. You get two extra hands. And they got some sculpt work in there. They do move. They want one pin. So that's pretty neat. And you get a head sculpt. That is Blitzwing. You know, nice head sculpt though. Nice uh, little metallic red right there. And then you got some nice metallic blue eyes. Looks nice. Some red paint. You got some kind of damage weathering or something like that. So it looks nice. It's a great sculpt work. If you want to make him Blitzwing, now you can. Because, <laughs> you know, there was a joke in the Bumblebee movie. Everybody thought he was going to be Starscream, but he was Blitzwing. But that's pretty cool. Nice head sculpt. So there you go. That's all he comes with. Here's where the guns go. There goes. There's two holes right there, right in front of the cockpit. 
you just place them in there. Now you can also put them right under here. I'll show you. Quick. You can place them under here too. If you want to have that option. So just another option if you want to. It's pretty neat. So that's where you put up the little guns at. All right, let's take a quick look at this beautiful alt mode. Man, it looks so good. Propeller does turn. And it looks like wood. I mean, it's plastic, but it just looks like it's made out of wood. Nice wheels. They do roll. It's just like that. You got the nice cross up there and it says, Conquest is made of the ashes of one's enemy. Well, that is nice. Something Star Trek would say. And look at the, I mean, it's just got that weather, you know, just battle damage look to it. Looks so good. Look at that. Let me try to turn around and see. It's old timey stuff, man. Looks really good. We got that right here. Nice cross. It's got that dirty look. Just that grimy, dirty look, man. Looks so good. Other side, underneath. So this, all this red is painted. You do got some robot bits a little bit right here and there. But it looks good. So you got all that dirt and grimy look up under there. Wow. So cool. I don't even want to transform it. <laughs> I, I just want to, got some nice rivets right here. I mean, I transformed it once, but man, I was like, man, it just looks so good in the plane mode. And especially on that stand, I was like, I don't even want to transform it. But look at all this greatness. It looks beautiful. I mean, it just, it looks nice. Look at all that. See the dirty? Mm. Very nice. Very nice. So there you go. That is Toy World. And that's Starscream in his alt mode. And it looks freaking fantastic. And real quick, there he is next to a C size white. So that's a deluxe scale. So that's a, yeah, I think it scales pretty good. You know, scale. And crappy garnish, crappy toilet paper, or care bears for more scale. All right, folks, transformation time. So first things you want to do is take the guns off. Wiggle them around. there's the two holes that goes in right there all right then you want to untab these like that well, flip them up in there you want to untab this come on there you go there we go like that and then you want to untab these as well Move those down. Move those down. So then you want to split these apart. You want to flip those under. Flip that like that. Same thing over here. Flip these under. You want to untab this right here, propeller, and move this back here. And just move that down like that. And it kind of looks like this right now. All right, you can come on here, take this, move that like that. You want to come untab this right here. And this is going to free the legs and the waist area up a little bit. There we go. You bring that down like that. And you want to move the wheels a little like this. And then you want to separate the legs all right so i was doing wrong okay so basically what you do is 
you need to extend this out and then you want to press that down move these in the back move these wheels so they will be kind of like this and you just move them up like this and then you can spread the legs and let that compress right there and then you just move these around like that and then move this around like that and a little like that and then you come up to here move this up like this and you want to kind of separate this right up here like that down like that Get these out of the way like that then you want to come over here move this down move these out like this then you want to take this and clap collapse it into this there's gonna be a slot right there there's a slot right here and a peg right there and then you just slide it in there. And it kind of looks like this. Like, ooh. All right. Then you turn it around. And you want to take this tab and get it right there. So you just got to work it in. You got to fold this down a little bit. And you just got to. that that's us flush with that and then you want to come down you want to flip we'll get the legs all situated I'm gonna flip this piece right here up same thing for right here if I can get it up come on now there we go do you want to turn that around turn that around then what you want to do is you want to flip these up right here collapse it right there nothing tab it don't tab in or anything like that and then you want to put the foot down and you know with uh bayverse you always got the chicken legs now you can't always just extend them if you want to but to be true to what starscream was you got to do that once again flip this fold it Flip that out and then kind of chicken leg the feet and legs and everything. And there you go. That's how you get the legs and everything situated. All right. So you want to move the head down. We'll move these out of the way. These are going to be his arms. Stand them up. All right. First, we want to collapse these right here. And right here, then you want to bring these tabs up right here, and right here, sorry, right there. Let's see if I can get them out. They were hard to get out the first time. I need to get a tool, try to. Come on. All right, I finally got those damn things out, man. It was a pain in the butt last time. So what you want to do is you want to kind of collapse them in there and push that down as far as you can. So you come over here and you're going to take this tab right there. You're going to tab it into, sorry, you're going to take this tab right here. You're going to tab it into that slot right there. Just got to line it up. There you go, just like that. You come over here, do the same thing. Golly. Take this, and you're gonna slot it to tab it into right there. Just let it line up. Like that. There you go. And you're gonna move these out. 
here and I'll show you how to do these through his arms as well. Move this out like that and push his head down as far as you can and it's gonna kind of lock in place as well. And then you got this right here. All right, now I'm gonna do the arms. Gonna try to situate them, flip them out like that. So what you do is come over here, take this piece, Fold it in like that, unfold that and it releases the hand. And then you want to fold this over that. So a bunch of folding and you get that. I think it's like, yeah, like that. And then you come over here and do the same thing. Fold this, fold this underneath, and then fold this over that, and then twist this around, yeah. I don't have to clean it up, you know, I just have to get it cleaned up, it's just, but that's how you basically transform him. I'll be right back. Let me clean them up. I'll be right back. All right, back from cleaning them up. That was a terrible transformation. I apologize for that. But, you know, he is panelly. He got tons of panels. But here he is. Looks pretty good. Nice sculpt work out there. Look at all that detailed sculpt work in there on his chest and his crotch area. And the arms are his wings. They just fold up like once again, some layers. Tons of layers. There you go. And then the chicken legs, just like that. He's got the kind of the Dorito kind of look, uh, you know, the triangle thing going on. And the back, he does got some gaps underneath there. You see all the way through. And you got the back. Now there is die cast. These are die cast. His uh, elbows are die cast. Got a little die cast in, his, in the uh, right here as well. So got a decent weight to him. There he is. Let's take a look at the head sculpt. Looks really good. Love that metallic blue eyes. Wow. That is freaking awesome. Looks good. So he can look not, not down very much. He can look up. He does have a hinge up there. So he does have a little spot right here for a little uh, stand if you have one. So he can look like he's flying because he is Starscream. So you look up, not much down. Side to side, uh, can go all the way around. These little things get in his way. And uh, not much of an add to, but it's a beautiful head sculpt. Got some nice sculpt work there at the chest. Right here, you got those fillers, right? You know, I've told you about that. They fill in the gaps a little bit. So that's good. You got some nice sculpt work. You got some nice gold paint. Some accent points right there. Looks really good. That red paint as well. So the arms. So then go up to here. They do have a bicep swivel. It is really tight. Be careful. And then you got a little elbow bend. A little, eh, I would say about 90 degrees. A little more than 90 degrees. But you, like I said, the bicep swivel is up top. It's really tight. You can... You can bend them back right there if you want to. You know, that's ugly looking. Uh, swivel for the hands and the fingers are on one pin. Just like the other hand I'll show you, the extra hands you get. So they can close like he's uh, going to make a fist. So that's how you do that. No waist swivel. Uh, with this design, I don't think it's possible for him to have a waist swivel. So that's kind of disappointing. But, you know, just the way, the way it's made. No app crunch either. I guess you could get app crunch if you untab this, but eh, you just gotta go through all that stuff. So you can do, uh, I wanna say the almost full Van Dam. You can kick up, kick back. It does have a swivel. You still got some nice paint right there, some gold accent paint right there. Now you got the chicken leg. Now you can extend it if you want to, if you wanna make it a little taller. 
but he's supposed to have a little chicken legs for that. And look at all the dirty and grime right there with the nice paint and everything. Some gunmetal paint. Got some stuff right there. Now for the feet, you got a toe tilt down, toe tilt up, and you do have a nice rocker. And you do have the kickstand back there. He's kind of doing the, ooh, the limbo. But, and there's the back. So, you may not like the design, but they made this really good. I love the alt mode, looks nice. So there you go, there's articulation and sculpt work of Toy World Starscream. And real quick, there you put his little mini machine guns on his arms, kind of got the G1 thing. And you do have the uh, gas mask. You can just attach that on there. Real easy. And then you take his big old gun. You're just going to try to line it up with his hand. And you just close that on there. Now it's not the ties fit. It's going to be a little wiggly. But there he is with his long extended gun. Like I said, it's not the ties fit. I kind of wish it was better on, it would clasp better on there, but I try to mess with it, but that's about the best I can get. And it will, I mean, it'll stay on there. You can shake a little bit, it will stay on there, but it's not the ties fit. I have to say his legs, I wish they were kind of a little stronger because they're every time I try to stand him up, he just kind of leans back a little bit. So that's a shame. I wish I could try to fix it up a little bit. But you can pop off the head too. And um, I'll show you in a second. I'm going to take off the head and I'll be right back with the Blitzwing. And there he is with the Blitzwing head sculpt. It looks good. I'm not really going to use it, but you have that option if you want it. And options are always good for the Transformers. Man, those legs, those knees are not really that strong. But there you go. That is all he comes with, all his uh, accessories. And real quick, there he is next to the Studio Series Voyager Starscream from the Bumblebee movie. So he's around that Voyager scale. So you could probably use him for Chug. So, scale. And there he is next to the rest of the Toy World World War One and World War II stuff I have. You got Bumblebee, Barricade, and I think that's War Dog. The green one, I forgot his name off the top of my head. But I think it's War Dog. But there you go. There's some scale for you right there with the uh, other Toy World stuff. Crappy Garnets, Crappy Toilet Paper, Care Bears, and Squeaks for more scale. Let's talk about some Toy World Aerolite. This is also Starscream from the World War One series from Toy World. And I like it. He's pretty cool. He's not perfect. He does have some issues with what I was going over through, you know, with transformation and articulation and everything. So, you know, what I said, that's probably the down point. Especially the legs. The knees are kind of weak on mine a little bit. But hopefully uh, I can get it to stand. It, it's fine. Sometimes just when I was trying to pose it and do the, you know, Fat Joe lean back. Other than that, great paint. Love the paint. Looks really good. Now, it will start chipping. You know, I did notice some red stuff, red little flakes on the, my uh, stand and everything. So, you know, just be wary of that. But I love that dirty, grimy look to it. It's got that just ugh, dirty feel to it. Really good. So the paint overall, you got the gold accent. I love the head sculpt. I love the blue, the metallic blue eyes look really good. So, yeah, the paint is top notch on this. And articulation is kind of lacking, you know, with this kind of mold, you can't get a waist swivel, and that really sucks. It really hinders it, but 
You can get them in some decent poses. You know, the legs are really nicely articulated. The uh, arms are pretty good. Just be careful with the uh, bicep swivel. It's really tight. Uh, the, you know, if you don't like this design, you're not going to get this because if you don't like Bayverse, you're not going to like the Dorito chip thing. But I like it. I think it's good. But they, overall, I love the alt mode. The alt mode is really great. I think I'm going to leave it in there. I'm going to uh, display it on the stand. The accessories are pretty cool. You know, the big gun probably could have done without that. It really doesn't, uh, it's not really tight on the hand when you do close it. I do like the mini guns. Uh, the Blitzwing head's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not going to use it, you know, but if you want to like a new character, you, you always have that option and option always good and everything. So, uh, you got new hands. Uh, so yeah, I mean, overall the, you know, the accessories are pretty cool. And like I said, the alt mode really does it for me. I think it's a beautiful alt mode and I think I'm going to transform it back and leave it in there. But overall, pretty good. I like him. He's a good star screen. I definitely recommend it, but like I said, if you're not a Bayverse fan, probably not going to like it. And plus, you got tons and tons of panels. Panel here, panel there. So yeah, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some uh, comments. Some of you thought of the review. Do you like this guy? You think he looks you know, pretty good? And I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro and third party. And good night, folks. It's Starscream. Look at my chest. I got tons of art, not articulation, detailed sculpt work. Mm, so good. Look at my eyes, they're pretty.